members of the graduation committee, uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear fellow graduates. It's a honor for me to be with you today. The first thing I would like to say is thank you for everything. Not only has Netherlands Institute for Health Science given me an extraordinary training during the last year, but it also gave me weeks of fear and nausea while preparing this address. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm very pleased to be speaking to you today. I welcome you all and hope you that feel as proud as I do to be part of this great institute and university. I want to speak for a few minutes about how important is this day for me and for us all? I am Jose Andres Calvache España. I was born and grew up in a small village in the south of Colombia, Puerres. When I was 16, I had to leave my home and my family to continue alone as a medical student in another city, Popayán, Colombia. Everything was going perfectly at the beginning. But during the second year of my career, I noticed that something was missing. I was not feeling satisfied, and just after several months of knocking doors, looking randomly here and there, I found my first research mentor, my professor Mario Delgado. For the first time in my life, I discovered the word research. This event changed completely my perspective about my career, my patients, and my life. Then, I took the decision to become a clinician researcher. And today, I'm really, really happy to obtain my master's degree in health science. For me, it represents much, much more than a degree. It represents a lifestyle and a new way to look at my career with criticism and with wishes to go one step forward every day in knowledge. I hope that for you also. <laughs> Finishing our thesis, presenting papers, and passing our exams were major milestones in this process. Time goes too fast, and looking back, I remember my first day here. I was really scared. It was an interesting combination, being scared and suffering from a terrible jet lag. <laughs> I was embarking on a such important journey. I knew very little about life here, few things about my new program, and just three or four people. We started with the Erasmus Summer Program 2010, and amazing health researchers were present. The first weeks were not easy. They were full of new knowledge and more important, a new critical view of healthcare based on quantitative empirical research. I remember with affection words like, so far so good. <laughs> and what have we learned so far? While on the blackboard, there were more and more items to study every day, all thanks to the commitment and perseverance of our lecturers. Finally, we are here, ready to receive our degrees. Just don't forget that research is like a growing child. It changes daily, and if we want to continue, we have to continue learning every day. My master program gave me many, many answers that I was looking for. But the major problem is that now I have more questions than at the beginning. <laughs> Just go for the answers. Where? Anywhere. But continue doing your best every day. Just one favor, my friends. If any of you have the opportunity to teach someone anything, Anywhere, please do it. When you teach, you really discover your knowledge. I want to teach. I hope to join a Colombian university to teach all things that I learned here. Thank you to my study group here. 
I'm a resident of anesthesiology. During my year of master program, I was inside of Erasmus MSA operating rooms. It was a really amazing experience of two months as a neuroanesthesia resident and researcher. After that, I'm personally convinced that in my discipline and in others as well, developing countries can produce high quality evidence to solve their local questions, but also to contribute to the development of knowledge. Just make networks and take advantage of technology nowadays. I want to do that from my country. Unfortunately, now I have the support of Erasmus Medical Center, Biostatistics and Anesthesiology Departments. Thank you, Professor Emmanuel Lesafre, Professor Robert Jan Stolker, and my dear friend, Dr. Marcus Klimek. In a country like mine, Colombia, and many other developing countries, there are many people with difficulties and looking every day for opportunities like these that we have had. I'm really convinced that we just need these opportunities to show our capabilities. Thank you, Erasmus, Columbus, and ERACOL program for supporting us during the last year. Many of us will continue being involved in research. PhD students, geneticists, public health scientists, and clinical researchers. I hope the best for you. Congratulations. My dear friends, please don't forget our network and contacts that we made here. We must do many things together for our countries. In the end, I'm not sure if this is the proper way to make a life, but I'm trying. I want to dedicate my degree and my success to my family in Colombia, mainly to my beautiful Lucia, who is here with me today. I do not have enough words to say thank you for all. Success, and see you soon, my friends.